is it starting to get time to buy crypto uh, my answer to that is a definite no um, um, I simply follow uh, Trololo his chart uh, that I've been sharing um, before uh, see my previous videos uh, there you can see the trend line uh, uh, which is the average valuation if you flatten out all bubbles booms and busts you come to um, and you extrapolate um, these average prices into the future you come to a, a trend line and um, this trend line uh, is currently at a valuation of 175 billion or so uh, for all cryptos uh, that's the fair value huh? um, and uh, right now it's <coughs> I think 280 billion so it's still way above the trend line uh, the value of all cryptocurrencies uh, so it's overvalued um, and um, it's overvalued by about 70% uh, <coughs> uh, or so so that's not a, a steal uh, it's not a sale it's uh, actually um, a premium prices you're still paying today even though the market has corrected for half a year um, from that perspective uh, it's still premium prices and that perspective I think is uh, the most important perspective to have uh, on this market um, uh, it's difficult uh, investing and uh, especially in cryptocurrencies uh, but uh, this uh, short of Trollo makes uh, life a lot easier um, I should have followed this uh, also um, this Trollo short when the bubble was happening because I sold uh, I was uh, I start to basically um, I think the top was there around 3000 for uh, Bitcoin uh, in the middle of 2017 um, even though I had made uh, a, a troll of video before that a month before that showing that um, actually valuations at that time was around 100 billion or so for cryptocurrency uh, but um, uh, the trend line uh, on Trolloy's chart was about the same then or a little bit below that it was 80 billion or so so there was overvaluation but only about 20% or so and, and and you could clearly see on that chart that I published a month before that uh, that overvaluation can, could go to thousand eh? percent uh, ten times higher than the trend line so uh, but yet one month later I, 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 I start to think no 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 this is probably the top uh, I should have uh, just stick with Trollo is uh, it's uh, his chart because I wouldn't have made the mistake then to sell the majority of my crypto around uh, 2200 uh, and go from uh, an exposure of was it like 55 or 60 percent crypto to only 25 percent crypto um, but in the meantime the market continued to go up uh, and uh, I was uh, for the most part on the sidelines luckily I corrected that mistake again at uh, 5,000 US dollars I went back to a majority crypto um, and 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 uh, I have to say uh, because uh, many people love to call me out on that uh, wrong call but uh, uh, at the same time I also predicted that um, uh, alt, um, alts would uh, collapse uh, versus uh, Bitcoin because Bitcoin had just lost a lot of market share it had gone down from about 80 percent to about 40 percent market share and uh, at the peak uh, when it was peaking out around 3000 yet uh, a couple of months correction um, or no uh, just short correction it went for basically then picked out at 3000 went down to 2800 or so but uh, a month two months later it was already uh, at the 3000 and breaking it but in in that time frame uh, actually alts corrected a lot versus Bitcoin and Bitcoin went up uh, again from about 40 percent market share to about 60 65 percent market share uh, so even though I stepped out of the market uh, what I did was um, I sold Bitcoin as I stopped believing in that um, but then when I entered the market again I uh, bought uh, around 5,000 uh, for Bitcoin I didn't buy Bitcoin I bought alts uh, uh, that actually did not go up in fiat value uh, in those couple of months so even though I made a wrong call there and I went to a majority uh, crypto actually I didn't miss out on any um, gains uh, as I was uh, and still am an altcoin investor today but um, so uh, the, the the thing is it's actually very easy uh, if you use that Trollo chart 
uh, we're still clearly in overvaluation and um, even when we're at fair valuation it's still not the moment to buy because history has shown that we will go to serious undervaluation compared to the trend line in last uh, bear markets in 2011 and 2014 and 15 uh, undervaluation went to minus 50 percent and minus um, uh, what was it uh, 70 percent so it's just really crazy uh, uh, how low it goes in a bear market compared to this trend line uh, and this trend line is going up fast uh, we're at 175 billion uh, so I think um, we will get um, just just extrapolating at uh, past bear markets uh, they always take longer it was half a year in 2011 it was uh, how much was it? One year and a half uh, in um, in 2013-14. So uh, now, uh, yeah, it's no sorry. It was only one year in 2014 because uh, the bottom was found in in, in January 2015 already for Bitcoin at 160 dollars, coming from 1,150 dollars one year before in December 2013. So that's only one year bear market, but alts had two year bear market, many alts, eh? not all, eh? like Ethereum and some others launched eh, in, the, in the course of 2015 and just went straight up. Uh, but, um, but many alts, uh, for example NXT I was invested in, but all the, all, all the older altcoins like Dogecoin, Peercoin, all the current, not the new alts, but the alts that had been existing only found their bottom in December of 2015. Eh? So that's two years bear market uh, for alts. Um, so I, and so what you see is that half a year in 2011, one year uh, in 2013. So it seems to take longer and longer these bear markets. The same for the bull markets. Um, the bull market um, 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 uh, lasted a lot longer this time than uh, in previous cycle. Uh, so it doubles in time, uh, and um, and so. Um, that's why I think the bear market will now also be double as long uh, as the last one and that was one year so now it's two years for the big coins not for the small ones eh? so that means that um, uh, we're only half a year in this is not over at all this bear market it's at least another year uh, for the biggest coins uh, and, uh, and so in middle 2019 I expect we will see the first lows uh, the final lows to be found for coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, uh, Ripple, um, but uh, most others uh, will not find their low then, it will be only in 2020. So this market is going to change a lot and you can see the change happening but it's slow. Eh? Uh, all the permabulls uh, from, uh, from 2017 uh, and, and newcomers um, are uh, learning a, a lesson now and are being shaken out but they are not shaken out yet, they are just starting to uh, be disappointed. Eh? Like, uh, I don't think people have sold their crypto yet that entered uh, the market in mid middle 2017 at 5,000 to 10,000 US dollars for Bitcoin. Um, I don't think these people have sold, uh, uh, but uh, they are starting to sit on losses. But uh, in, there needs to happen a lot more uh, pain. Uh, before uh, uh, before people will sell and that pain will be delivered uh, highly likely eh? there's nothing is certain here I still have a quite big crypto position because nothing is certain and crypto in the long term is the best opportunity you have in the investment markets so being totally out I don't think is wise nothing is certain um, but uh, but uh, but when you look at the probabilities uh, it is highly probable uh, that this bear market will last a lot longer and that undervaluation will also go deeper than ever before. Huh? So, uh, so, so you see a serious trend line there that overvaluation goes down over time compared to the trend line of Trollolo, but undervaluation goes up over time. Huh? So I expect an undervaluation of not uh, 50%, not 70%, but about 80, 85, maybe 90% compared to the trend line. And where will the trend line be if in one year of Trollolo? Well, at this rate, the way it's going up, uh, it's probably going to be around 500 billion, 600 billion from the current 170 billion. Uh, but uh, you shop off 80%, uh, you are about 100 billion market cap for all coins. I think that will be the low. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and so that means that's good by three from here, but in one year's time, uh, it's also uh, a lot of new coins come on the market uh, and new ICO, ICOs that have been uh, launched 
or raised money, but will be launched and will be traded on or quoted on coin market cap uh, and also uh, inflation, of course, of existing coins. So, um, for example, Byteball has corrected about 90% from its high, but this is not finished. Uh, you can uh, see it, uh, worst case, be cut by 10 again over the next one to two years' time. Huh? And the same is true for all other altcoins. Uh, and then there are some exceptions that die and some exceptions that don't, that don't go down so much. Huh? Um, but um, it, it looks really still very, very bad, actually, uh, financially. Um, but uh, there's not only uh, that aspect in crypto. Crypto, it's about adoption because that's actually extremely disappointing. Also, during that bull market, uh, real, real utility is... It's really not, uh, not, 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 not very high, so there's so much work to do there and there's so much work being done there. So that's really great to see, uh, like Bitcoin Cash, for example, continues to uh, be uh, uh, strongly promoted by evangelists and, and developed and, and adopted. Uh, so that's really great to see. Byteball is doing great, great jobs. Also, there is, um, uh, yeah, they have the attestation bot where you can uh, create a wallet in your Byteball wallet and you can uh, connect your identity to it uh, and verify it and be rewarded. Uh, it's $10 or $20. But then also the person that uh, helps you out uh, gets also a um, $10 um, uh, fee. And so in Venezuela they start a project, uh, a competition for students to use, buy, uh, invent uh, use cases for Byteball in the real world. But uh, at the same time, they also discovered that at the, at the station button. So some guys are running around there uh, uh, trying to hook up uh, people, uh, verify their identity. Uh, and so uh, as they make money uh, with each person that they attract with. There's, of course, uh, some fraud, uh, probably, uh, and some abuse of the system. Uh, but um, uh, And, of course, there's, that's very important for Bible to keep that... Um, uh, to 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 to, uh, yeah, to be on top of that is of course when you're gonna pay people to do something you have always people that try to abuse the system, but I think it makes a lot of sense the business model to pay uh, that that from the uh, from the uh, newly issued coins that they are used to pay people uh, to uh, start using the the network and you can see it's uh, uh, it's really uh, yep, exploding. Um, uh, like thousands of people have uh, verified their identity there and um, and uh, and that's really uh, I think uh, great to see um, um, of course I mean it's 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 it's, it's, it's not like um, uh, there's still a lot of work to do here eh? probably most of these people that verify their identity have no value uh, for uh, for bit for bite ball uh, eh? because what's the value of people verifying their identity well that is that uh, for uh, launching ICOs uh, that you want uh, to launch under a certain legal framework of a certain country, you will have to do uh, know your customer um, stuff. And if you if you do it on, uh, launch it on, on Byteball, well, you can just say only people that have verified their identity can uh, participate in the ICO, and, and, and it doesn't cost the ICO anything to verify people's identity because this cost has already been uh, borne by uh, by Byteball, and Byteball has. Um, X amount of users that already have verified their identity. So that's, of course, a valuable thing for Byteball to have uh, many, many uh, verified users. Uh, but, uh, but of course, if these users have no money and have no intention whatsoever to invest in anything, uh, which is probably the case of most of those Venezuelan students, uh, then, of course, it has not much value. But um, I think that, uh, that, that it does show uh, that the business model works, uh, but of course it needs to be, um, uh, um, uh, yeah, it needs to be fine-tuned uh, fine uh, as with everything. So, so, um, mm, mm, but traditional cryptocurrency business models like what Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, uh, the only new coins only go to mining uh, and, and to nothing else. Um, also works. Bitcoin works very well, uh, actually. Uh, up until uh, you had the mismanagement uh, of the coin and they let fees uh, explode, uh, then uh, it uh, went down. But up until then, it went just up, up, up. 
So, so, so the, this 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 model works very well, and Bitcoin Cash is is now continuing to to um, exploit that, uh, and it's working. Um, so, think really, if if for this bear market, you're still a Bitcoin believer and a Bitcoin Cash non-believer or hater or even neutral, I think it's really very important to take your time to to go study the fundamentals of Bitcoin. Uh, because because this is something I think you, it's, it's something it's, it's, it's going to be an amazing. It's just already an amazing opportunity to be able to be, invest in Bitcoin, not for 10k or 5k, but for what is it now? 800 US dollars, huh? because that's how it is. In my opinion, huh? uh, you will see over over the years that Bitcoin Cash will become bigger as Bitcoin, and at one point will become the Bitcoin, eh? will be seen as Bitcoin and the other one will will become a story of how not to manage a cryptocurrency eh? and the value will become lower as Bitcoin cash and, and I don't think there's room for two. Eh? Um, so, 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 so it's not only an opportunity, it's actually a real necessity to study this uh, if you're in the cryptocurrency world. I think this will become a very big story in the next bubble, but not in this bear market. And I've been wrong about that. I said in previous videos that I think that uh, no matter what, um, a bull or bear, um, Ethereum um, um, and Bitcoin Cash will go up versus Bitcoin. But uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping back from that. No, I don't think that's true. Um, uh, actually, during a bear market, um, there is uh, it doesn't work like that uh, during a bear market bitcoin and it's just because it's the biggest coin it will be in the future probably for ethereum once that becomes the biggest coin the biggest coin uh, as in stock markets uh, when stock markets collapses the biggest companies drop the least why because it's perceived as a sec more secure investment as small companies that's the only reason and it's the same in cryptocurrency so people when they become afraid they ditch the projects that seem more risky and go to the projects that seem less risky and Bitcoin is still perceived as such because it's the biggest. So I do think in this bear market over the next one to two years, Bitcoin will find it, uh, will be the first one to find its low, will continue to be the biggest coin and will, will drop the least um, um, as it has been up until today. Also Ethereum dropped a lot more, Bitcoin Cash dropped a lot more up until today and that will continue to be the case until the bear market finds it low um, but it's after that and when we have a new bull market uh, in a couple of years that you will see that uh, just tremendous changes as we have seen in the bull market of 2015 16 and 17 um, that uh, wow the market has totally changed uh, Bitcoin used to be 85 90 percent at the start of the bull market uh, market share uh, that's over and out, huh? and, uh, and 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 the same will happen in the next bull market. Uh, now it's like 40%. Let's say it finds its peak at about 50% market share Bitcoin. Uh, but when the uh, 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 when the bull market starts and the bear market bottoms out, maybe 55. But after that, it's gonna be as painful as it was in this bull market. And uh, indeed, as uh, Tommy uh, also shared today on Twitter. Um, um, find a low of not uh, what was it uh, this bull, this bull market Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin bottomed out at about 35 percent or so uh, market share and, and the next bull market will be 10 percent even below 8 percent market share it's gonna be very painful and I think something like Bitcoin Cash you will see go to a parity at least huh? uh, become equally valuable as Bitcoin just shocking things to happen. Ethereum more valuable, eh? a higher market share than Bitcoin. Uh, so, so all these things uh, are just written in the stars, unless fundamental big things change. Eh? Unless, for example, Bitcoin core team changes in who runs that team. Eh? Adam Beck is basically the boss there, and he's doing a terrible job. If, if if new people come there, okay, that things can change. Same for Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. Uh, um, people like uh, Roger Ver uh, and some other people add amazing, uh, tremendous value to that coin and re really make it into a success thanks to their well enormous uh, marketing skills but uh, if these people drop from the planet uh, 
the Bitcoin Cash stories change. The same for Ethereum. If Vitalik Buterin uh, disappears, uh, well, that's a, then of course Ethereum might actually start failing instead instead of becoming the biggest coin. So you have to always adapt uh, to the to 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 market realities. Uh, but as it stands today, uh, that seems to be like what's going to happen. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Guys, and also I forgot to say, check my Instagram. I'm so active there these days, sharing a lot of interesting pictures and videos of my dating life and uh, my girls. And um, very proud. Uh, and uh, and, and, uh, and um, I hope you enjoy them. A last view of Kenya. A beautiful morning here. In Nairobi, the sun is shining, but actually it's winter time here, and uh, it's pretty cold, 16, 17, 18 degrees. But I'm used to having the sun here every day. But uh, these days it's not every day. Usually it's cloudy because uh, the rainy rainy season is coming soon. Bye, guys, and please share the video. I think it has great value. I would really love if you. Uh, uh, Below in the description you see the, the tweet also that I made from the video, just retweet it uh, or make a comment about it also uh, or share it on your Facebook or just tell it to your friends about my work. I think it uh, really uh, can have great value for people. Have a great day. Bye.